Okay, we're going to be wiring a box here that has a power coming in, power going out, and a wire that's going to a light. And that's going to be a switched wire. So it's going to be this one marked over here. So we got our ground wires here. We twisted them. There's one, two, three, four, five. I look one, two, three, four, five. All five wires are uh, even at the end. We use our crimpers and a crimp sleeve here. Put it in the crimpers like this. We'll go in and we'll just go down a little bit past that last wire there. Squeeze it really, really tight. Now one thing I like to do, but you don't have to do it, is take a little electrical tape. Because this is like a sharp edge here and that could puncture through the insulation of a wire. But I'm going to show you what the uh, crimp looks like before I tape it. I make sure all five wires are just outside the uh, crimp sleeve before I squeeze it. Okay, see, so I uh, wrap this up just to uh, eliminate the. Uh, sharp edges there. You don't have to do this by code, but I like to do it just so that there's not a chance of a wire getting punctured. And you push that back into the box. Okay, so we have the power coming in and going out for the outlet. And we have all our white wires here. I'll start with the white wires. Okay, we'll take our first three and get them started here, getting the insulation even at the bottom. Remember, you always use the uh, size hole that matches the wire size. We're using 14. I didn't quite strip this song enough. That's a little short. Uh, a little further. I get the insulation even down at the bottom. Okay, so there's four conductors. I'm going to cut all four of these off so that they're 
even at the end here. I see one, two, three, four wires e flush at the end. One, two, three, four. All the insulation is even at the bottom. Now notice the uh, wire nuts are uh, different sizes. Yellow is smaller than the red. And they both have a spring inside. So this has four wires in it. So we're going to use a uh, red one. Okay, now we can get our black wires ready for the uh, Now uh, three number 14s, I believe, is the maximum you can put in a yellow wire nut, and two number 12s. Yeah, I started them. Okay, so I look, My, this insulation came down a little bit, okay, they're even at the top, but, okay, oh, they are pretty even, the, the one just went down a little bit, but it's not that much, so I'm even at the end here with the three coppers, and the insulation is like about a sixteenth of an inch, so that's okay. And we'll put them into the box. Okay, so now we're ready to hook our uh, light switch, one of our Okay, this is the one that goes to the light. And we'll put it on the top here. So this is our outlet here. We'll get our ground wire hooked up first.
we'll hook our white wire up. Loop it the direction that the screw turns. It doesn't matter which one you put it on, but I'm going to put it on the top one here. I make sure the insulation does not go under the screw head. Okay, so now we come over here with our black one from the outlet. I pulled that wire back so all the wire is under the screw head. Okay, so this is the one that's going to take the power from this over to the switch. Close my loop. I make sure the insulation is not going to be under the screw head. And I'll come over here and put this one onto the switch. And I'll let you take a close look at how that's done.